in English, and specifically in the American flavor of English with which I'm most familiar, it seems like the smaller a word is, the more different things it can mean. For example, the word hot. It can mean sexy. It can mean extremely popular in the current moment. It can mean lucky. It can mean furious. When it comes to food, hot can mean that something is at a high temperature, like a soup when it first hits the table and you have to blow on the spoon before every sip. But it can also mean spicy, like the items on a restaurant menu that have multiple little cartoon chili peppers next to them. Many other languages don't have this issue. In Spanish, for instance, hot temperature-wise is caliente, while spicy hot is picante. In French, it's chaud versus épicé. So in most of French-speaking Quebec, where a hot chicken sandwich is a comfort food featuring shredded chicken between slices of soft bread with peas and gravy on top, kind of like a dentures-friendly pot pie on a plate. They may not understand the confusion of the typical American, to whom a hot chicken sandwich is a piece of breaded fried chicken slathered with a paste made from the hot frying oil and some hot dried and powdered chili peppers, served in a bun or on bread with pickle slices. So much of our language is like that. Even the very word sandwich itself is a source of argument, with a notable percentage of online discourse consisting of heated discussions whether this or that edge case can properly be called a sandwich. As a reminder, children, I am not interested in such debates. And I certainly don't want to hear anybody disparaging the Quebec-style hot chicken sandwich. Maybe you can't pick it up in your hands. But why argue when you can just make one and eat it? Butter some bread. This step comes less naturally to a Merican than it does to a Brit or a native of just about any former Commonwealth nation. Put some chopped or shredded chicken on it warmed up in a pan, a little gravy, then top with another slice of buttered bread, more gravy, and some peas that have been well peppered and heated in the chicken's juices. Yes, you will need a knife and fork to eat it. But so what? It's a protein between two slices of bread, the very definition of sandwich, and dousing something in gravy can only make it more delicious. Even if you've never had one before, even using shortcuts like Costco rotisserie chicken, grocery store brioche bread, and canned gravy, big thanks to Sandwich Dad for sending me some saint Hubert brand from Canada, it's the very archetype of a comfort food.